What's up guys, it's your boy Glorentino back at it again with another video. This video is going to be very different compared to the last video that I made. In this video, we're going to talk about my top 3 enemies that I believe should have never been cancelled. The reason why a series might get cancelled is usually due to the artists losing interest in their work or the production companies simply not seeing any traction during the time of release and simply just bins it. But these series later become a cult classic amongst all anime lovers such as myself. Okay. If you haven't seen the last video where I did a $100 pack opening in FIFA, you should go immediately, go to that video, watch it, like it, and comment, and then come back to this video. Trust me, you're gonna like it. It's a 17 minute video. You sit back, watch whatever I got, you know, maybe I'll surprise you. Get some food, you know, chill back, put your seat back, like. Oh. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that motherfucking notification bell as well. Now on to the video. Hey guys, this is a warning to let you know that this video might have some spoilers. It might not. I recommend you still watching the video, but view at your own risk. Now, for the first anime on my list, it is an anime that many anime lovers such as myself have seen. And that set anime is Dead Man Wonderland. Dead Man Wonderland takes on the life of Gonta Igarashi, who was sent to prison for a crime he did not commit. And that crime is mass murder. It starts out in the classroom, where Gonta sits looking at an ad regarding Dead Man Wonderland. A classmate approaches him and asks him about the field trip that they're going to have soon. Gonta believes it's lame that they're going to a prison, and the classmate tells him that it doesn't matter where they go, they just want to go on the field trip. Next thing you know, Gonta sees a mysterious figure, which he later gives the moniker, the Red Man. Red Man kills his entire classroom, leaving young Gonta as the sole survivor. As the slaughter has happened, Gonta ends up fainting and then wakes up in the hospital. Waking up in the hospital, he realizes that he's handcuffed to the bed and discover he has been arrested for mass murder. With many evidence that points it to him, he is sent to death row. What's ironic is that he gets sent to the prison that he previously called Lame, and that Lame prison's name is Dead Man Wonderland. Yes, the title of the anime, of course. The prison is not like any other prison. It is a prison that also serves as an amusement park for the public's enjoyment. This is where Gonta and his classmates were planning to go, a prison where prisoners must compete for their survival. All prisoners wear a neck monitor that has a lethal injection and every day they must compete in order to survive because said monitor has a lethal injection that when their time is up, their time is over. If you haven't paid attention, this is Death Bro. They are there for one reason. What's interesting about this anime is that he meets a mysterious girl named Shiro who he teams up with to survive. He later discovers that he has this power that allows him to use his blood as a weapon. It's sort of like the Avatar where Katara uses their blood bending. This is such a great anime, too bad it ended at episode 12, it has so much potential. If you want to continue watching it, I recommend reading the manga as well, you know. I haven't seen, I haven't read it, but I will in the future. Now that was Dead Man Wonderland, now on to the next anime. Second anime on the list is one called Batum. This anime surrounds itself around the life of Ryota Sakamoto, who is a neat. For my normies, a neat is basically a person who stays at home, is unemployed, doesn't go to school. Basically a bum, you know? Ryota likes to play this game called Batum, and is considered to be one of the top players in the game. Batum is sort of like COD, minus the guns and more of the bombs. One day Ryota finds himself in a tropical island, which he wakes up to a scene of two guys barraging each other with bombs, and ultimately one of them killing each other. He later discovered that he's in a real life version of Batum, where he must survive in real life to not die, and in real life you only have one life. I'm Captain Obvious. Instead of going to the island for a crime you committed, you are sent because someone has nominated you. You get sent to the island because you're a burden to someone in their life, or they just don't like you. This anime sadly ends at episode 12 as well as Dead Man Wonderland. This is one of the few anime that actually made me go read the manga after watching the anime. And, and God, I, I'm glad that I went to go read the manga. And I should do the same thing with Dead Man Wonderland. That was Batum, now on to the last and third anime. The last anime on my list is one called High School of the Dead. There's not much to say about this anime than to say this is basically The Walking Dead of anime and i can say this anime is probably better than the walking dead and i haven't seen the walking dead honestly probably 10 times better this basically ties around the group of high school students fighting their way against zombies you know the, the usual zombie you know zombie outbreak survive type deal this anime is so fire especially with the combat scenes and if you like opai this is for you this anime also finishes at episode 12 and it's one of the animes that i wish had more seasons and guys, these are the top three animes that I wish did not get cancelled. As you may have blatantly noticed, they all surround the topic of survival. I enjoyed them, but I guess in Japan, they don't really like the topic of survival. It's probably overplayed over there. 
no but like i said i really enjoyed them so yeah i like them as long as i like them it's not a problem thank you for watching if you haven't please don't forget to hit that like subscribe and hit that notification bell and stay tuned for the next video which is coming soon it's gonna be like my last video pack opening but not the same stay tuned peace